Grace and Peace on September 2nd. We continue on our topic of fear not. Fear not and knowing that God is with me, with all of us, has permeated my life and who I am, every aspect of my being. Let's just take a segment, which would be me as a parent. So as Liam is so very young and as he's growing up, loud noises are scaring him. So thunder and lightning storms were uh, a nightmare. So what do you begin to do, right? So we learn that the rain itself is not terrifying. And we would go out and, and splash in puddles. And then we get a little braver when there's just a little bit of lightning and thunder and we would go out and we could play in the puddles that we knew we didn't have to be afraid of while there's this distant lightning and thunder. And we would go out and we would bring our drums and we would drum and then let God get the last boom because God always has the finale, right? And we would sing, he's got the whole world in his hands because if you can put a song with something, how can it be scary? And, you know, we learn phrases like, you know, you can't stop this, you can't control it, but we can partner with it. And we're talking about nature. So what can you control in nature? Wow, well, we can garden. So, and I can always use help pulling weeds. Woo! So, but we would plant things and garden. So, all right, that works really well for a really young child. Things get a lot bigger, and so does he, right? So we're encountering bullying uh, as he matures. But fear not. So you can't control what another person is going to do, how they're going to say things. What you can control is you, how you respond to that. But to an older child who has some cognitive, you can begin to teach, like from Matthew 10, right? So have no fear of them, for nothing is covered up that will not be uncovered, and nothing secret that will not become known. What I say to you in the dark, tell in the light. Okay, proclaim from the housetops. Do not fear those who could kill the body, but can uh, not touch the soul. Rather, fear him who can destroy both body and soul. Okay, are not two sparrows sold for a penny, yet not one of them will fall to the ground apart from the one who is in heaven. Even the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid because you're of more value than many sparrows. All right, so to begin to teach that child and just reinforce how valuable the individual, the child is in the eyes of God. So don't be afraid, but then also how valuable that child is to you. And then also right, get other friends and only value the opinions of those who are gonna value you. So we grow and we develop and we learn in different stages of life how to not be afraid and eventually beginning eh, in some kind of adult stage to be able to understand, do not fear for I am with you. Do not be afraid for I am your God. I will strengthen you and I will help you. I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. So I can only imagine if as a child afraid of a thunderstorm, I had quoted either the Matthew text or the Isaiah text to that little bitty fearful child, I, I would have been no help whatsoever to my kid. But to be with that child in that stage, to relate, to begin to teach, do not be afraid. That's how I imagine God is with us. No matter what stage of life we're in, God comes to us like a parent. 
whether we're able and needing to splash in puddles or face our bullies or as grown-ups. God comes to us with those messages of, do not be afraid. We've got this. In the end, God says, I've got this. But while we're here together, God partners with us, holds us, and encourages us. Fear not. God's got you. God's got us. Fear not. <laughs>